I'm Joe Long. I uh, work for the Pegasus team on the Artemis client. And today I'm going to talk about our architecture. Um, our architecture is uh, 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 designed. Uh, actually, uh, before I get started, let me let me say something. I want to talk about something that's like kind of close to my heart. I'm going to take about three minutes and talk about this. Um, and so, uh, if you're new to the space and you haven't been in Ethereum two for a while, I just want to say welcome. Um, it's a, a kind of like drinking from a fire hose. I think the first time. Um, at DevCon 3, when I saw uh, what they were working on, I was like, wow, that's something that uh, I really want to be a part of. And um, being able to come and speak at DevCon about um, our own ETH2 client that I've been working on, um, it uh, means a lot to me. Um, and uh, so uh, I think some people might be asking occasionally why uh, Ethereum 2 is taking so long. Um, and uh, from that perspective, I would point you to the DEF CON 4 talk from Vitalik, his keynote, where he described kind of the pitfalls and um, uh, research decisions uh, uh, that we were um, going through uh, uh, when for the uh, researchers. Uh, and uh, and that's, a, that's a really good resource for um, learning kind of like uh, all the individual paths that we took to kind of get to where we are now. Um, and, uh, I think um, uh, we've like uh, I think in 2016 people were still talking about using a tendermint consensus and to think like how far we've come since then. Um, and the Ethereum 2.0 researchers are like in my view um, some of the most intelligent, hardworking, and thoughtful people um, that you'll find in this space. Um, and uh, uh, in the hardworking aspect, I want you to chal I challenge you to interview any um, Ethereum 2 implementer or researchers, uh, spouse or significant other, um, and they'll tell you how much the <laughs> they hate the Ethereum 2.0 mistress, you know? Um, and so um, maybe uh, <laughs> a few weeks ago, um, we achieved uh, interop, which is very exciting. Um, we were able to get seven clients uh, communicating. Um, and uh, um, that's very difficult because um, research is uh, never easy and there is no clear path to uh, victory. And uh, we are so close um, to uh, the beacon chain. Um, the, uh, uh, this is, uh, in my view, uh, you know, the Apollo program of, um, of blockchains. And I just wanted to recognize all the teams who are here who are just kind of like dedicating themselves um, to this. Uh, uh, if, if I say your team name, you stand up, okay? Don't, don't be weird. <laughs> okay, Artemis. Hey, stand up, Ben. Don't, Adrian, you too, dude. Yeah. Lighthouse. Lighthouse? 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 We got Lighthouse in the house? All right, cool. Um, Nimbus. Nimbus team, thank you very much. Um, Lodestar. So we got any guys from Lodestar? All right, they slept in, that's cool. Um, uh, Harmony, um, I saw you guys, yeah. Great, great job, great job. Um, Shasper, I don't know if Wei Tang is in the room. Hey, Wei Tang, dude, I've never seen you in person. That's nice to see you. Um, uh, Trinity, yay. Um, uh, Prism. Uh, excellent work, y'all. Uh, Yeath, Yeath? <laughs> Dean's not here. Okay, cool. All right. Um, and the Ethereum Foundation, the researchers, and White Block. If y'all would stand up too, I just want to say, great material support. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. They they've sacrificed a lot to to be here, and we're we're definitely very close. So now I'm going to talk about the real stuff. Um, uh, yeah. So um, we this is an overview of our stack. So we. Um, uh, uh, chose to uh, use uh, OpenJDK 11, which is um, uh, a Java framework, right? Um, uh, and uh, this is our um, piece right here that we've written, Artemis. Um, and these are some of the libraries that we used. Uh, Twenty is um, built, uh, is like uh, run by the Apache Foundation, but it's basically Antoine, you know, right there. Um, and uh, JVM libp2p, that's the Harmony guys, uh, Anton specifically, yeah, really great job. Um, and Web3j. So uh, 20 we use for kind of like our, our typing. Uh, one of the problems with Java is like that there are, um, they're not great primitives. Um, and so we wanted uh, to be able to do some of these um, 
uh, 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 SSD functions and, and more advanced functions using uh, a bytes class that wasn't the Java byte array. Um, and that's what that was for. And JVM lib P2P is, uh, you know, in the uh, Ethereum 2.0 stack, that's how you uh, uh, communicate with your uh, individual nodes. Um, it's a pretty interesting library. Web3j is um, a, uh, like, it's like Web3js, but for Java, right? It is uh, just kind of this uh, ability to uh, call out and, and talk to individual contracts. And we use Google Commons, um, and I'll, I'll get to that in a minute, but that's mostly the event bus, and then also, um, how I mentioned types are not great in Java, so we had to have an unsigned long because there was a, a we needed a two to the 64th minus one uh, size uh, 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 integer, and uh, we definitely don't have that in Java. The best we can do is two to the 63rd minus one. Um, okay, so uh, uh, talking about Google Commons, um, that is, uh, 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 what we, the, the reason that, that we chose to use Google Commons is uh, specifically for this here, the event bus. This event bus allows us to um, have asynchronous communication in between individual services within Artemis. And so you can see these individual services chain, store, uh, chain storage, a proof of work chain that's kind of like interfacing with the, with the ETH1 net. Beacon chain and validator, beacon chain is, our, is the core uh, 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 spec that you'll see in the Ethereum 2.0 spec. And uh, of course we need a validator. So um, uh, that's, uh, so we can kind of like exchange these modules and multiply them and, and have fewer. Um, and you can see we have like our config and logging. I think everybody has that. So why choose Java, right? Oh, uh, that's a really controversial question. Um, so one of the, uh, one of our thoughts uh, when we were beginning was, um, we're um, specifically uh, in Pegasus, we're targeting some of the enterprises um, and interaction with Java for them is mu comes much more natural. Um, if you've worked at a bank or an insurance company um, or any kind of Fortune 500, you'll find that many of them are <clears throat> wholly Java shops and we wanted something that would be extensible for uh, uh, them. Additionally, um, Java provides, uh, if, if you've worked in Java, you'll find that Java provides ability to build um, large non-monolithic uh, pieces of software. Um, and so uh, we additionally, we were able to allow, allows us to do some of the event bus asynchrony. So what's so special about an event bus? Um, so these modules, uh, let me make sure, okay, cool. That's my next slide, good. Uh, uh, so these, uh, I have two that say what's so special about an event bus. Uh, um, these modules allow us to um, uh, do uh, individual jobs as services, and uh, to by using an event bus, we just are creating a service adapter. So if I want to put a message onto this bus, um, I can put it uh, onto the bus, and other services can subscribe to that message bus. So I have a diagram. It's really handy. Um, so you implement a service adapter, and you can, uh, in your other service adapters, you can subscribe to some of the notifications that these other service adapters will be making. So um, in, in uh, uh, we, uh, our design process, one of the considerations was we have products inside uh, Consensus, like Infura, um, that we uh, are gonna need uh, data center scalability. We allow, we're allowed to have data center scalability um, by, allowing ourselves to deploy multiple of these individual services. So if you can think of some complications that you will have with a, um, with a client, might, one, one might be, um, I, I need to validate blocks. And many of those blocks could be spam, right? Um, well, uh, by, by our design, um, in, the, in this beacon chain, we can power on multiple of these, of these modules and we can uh, validate these, these spam blocks, right? Um, or, you know, reject them, of course. Um, and, um, another instance might be if you want to aggregate signatures, right? These are things that take um, a finite amount of time. Um, and if we're going to do many of them, we will uh, want to be able to, to deploy a service that allows us to do um, uh, many uh, on individual services. Um, yeah, so that's, 
pretty much our architecture. It's lovely. Um, right now, we're using EventBus. Long term, we're going to use a gRPC uh, interface, but um, that is some time away. Um, we're focusing right now on productionizing, um, and after uh, interop, we have dropped in JVM libp2p, which is exciting for us. Announcements. Okay. So we're going to build a sharding client um, starting soon. Um, and it's going to be in Kotlin. That's what that logo is, if, you don't, if you're not familiar with it. Um, some of the advantages of Kotlin is that it compiles to machine code. It transpiles into JavaScript. It also uh, runs on JVM, which uh, allows us backwards compatibility with our Beacon Chain client. So we're really excited about that. Um, the other thing, uh, and I'm glad Harmony's here, because we're merging teams. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think we had conversations where like, um, the world maybe doesn't need two um, Java clients for Ethereum 2, so let's combine our efforts. And so that's, uh, we're gonna start that, we're already in process, and uh, we're gonna work conjointly on a single um, uh, sharding client, and we still don't know what we're gonna do with the Beacon Chain clients, how we're gonna uh, integrate them together. Cool, that's it for me, thank y'all.